Now I'm going to teach you how to cook a steak. So everybody want to learn that? Yeah. OK. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to talk a little bit about what we've got going on over here. We do this slow butter poach on our meat. And it looks like, oh my god. What, what do you got going on over there? But it really isn't because what happens is if you do this at a temperature in the, in the butter, the water bath is about 140 degrees, the butter is about 130 degrees. And you don't want to go over 140 because that will start to release the juice. But all the butter really does, it does a lot, but it's going to seal it right away. So it's not like it's going to saturate the meat. You would never know if I didn't tell you that I did that. You would never know that we poached that in butter. But what it does is it seals the meat, and then it slow cooks the meat without losing any of the juice out of it. So what we do is we'll bring a steak up to right under rare, um, and then we'll throw it on a 900 degree wood grill. We'll sear it in a pan. So if you can get it to rare, or right under rare before you sear it, you're going to always have more tender meat. You're going to have a lot, you'll have a lot less shrinkage on your meat. And what you'll do is if you create like a butter bath like this where it's got shallots and herbs and peppercorns and bay leaves, it's going to completely flavor your meat different. So we have, a, we have another steak that we're going to go ahead and drop that in the butter. You don't need to do anything with it when you drop it in the butter. It's going to take about 35 minutes. So I have one that has been poached in butter for 35 minutes. And as you can see, it hasn't released any of the juice out of it yet. It's nice and tender. And what we're, what we're doing is we're slow cooking it from the inside out. And then we're going to sear it on the outside. Okay, and you're still going to get all the flavor that you would get off of a normal grill. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and season up the steak. And when you're seasoning a steak, whenever you're seasoning, first thing, really important, really dry hands. Dry hands, and then think about being a salt and pepper shaker. Up nice and high, okay? And season all the way around. OK. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start this. And I have in here, I have a little bit of grapeseed oil. So another great oil for searing or cooking, because it's a really high smoking point, very neutral flavor. So you just get the pan nice and hot. I like cast iron when I'm searing steak. So you want to do is go like this and let it go, because the fat will go away from you so you don't burn yourself. So we're going to go ahead and just let that sear on all sides. Now you can see we got a good color on our steak. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do a butter base on it. So Gabe's adding butter to it, to the pan. I'm going to throw in some herbs. Now what I'm doing is I'm literally just basting it with this brown butter. And so now what we're going to do is just go ahead and let it rest. OK? So now we've let our meat rest. And so we can all cut into our meat together. <laughs> so just like Gabe said, we're going to find the grain. Our grain is running this way. So we're going to cut literally right across the grain. So. Meat. And again. That meat never went in the oven. That meat never went in the oven. Um, literally was in a pan for four minutes. If I had not butter poached it, I would have had to cook it slowly in the pan for probably 15 minutes to get it that way. And that would have been 15 minutes. It would have been losing all its juice. But that's honestly, if you cook a steak like that, it's hard to go back afterwards. <laughs> and I'm going to say goodbye to you. So thank you. Thank you for everything. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you. Thank you.